Hey, what's up? John Sonmez here from simpleprogrammer.com. Today, I'm going to be talking to you about how to freelance as a software developer. So, this is not a question, but I get this question plenty of times. How do I freelance as a software developer? How can I become a freelancer, software developer? Right? This is a very common fantasy, I'm going to say fantasy, that most developers have. Because I'll tell you, you know, my background, I was working as a regular developer, doing regular jobs for a good amount of time. And I always had this dream, I said, man, I would love to be a freelancer. I, I don't know why I wanted to do this, I guess I wanted the freedom, right? My highest value in life, I've, I've told you guys this before, is freedom, right? I, I value freedom more than anything. And so I thought that becoming a freelance developer would be a way to obtain my freedom. Now I eventually did this and I uh, you know, was able to build up to $300, actually at one point $500 an hour. Uh, you can check out my, my video on, on billing 300 bucks an hour, how, how to do that here. Uh, definitely check that out if you haven't, if you haven't seen that. But, but I found out it wasn't all it was cracked up to be. Okay, so, so before I tell you how to become a freelancer, and I will, I promise, I, I, wanted to, I want you to make sure that you want to do this, first of all, because I think for a lot of developers, what makes a lot of sense, a lot of people in general, is to skip the freelance and go straight to product creation. And, I, and I'll tell you why, okay? Essentially, level one is you're working for someone else, level two, you're a freelancer, level three, you have a product or a business that generates some kind of passive income, and level four, you have so much money, you have so much income right, coming in that you just do whatever the fuck you want. You don't care what, what anyone says. You, you don't have to respect anyone. Like you, you just do what you want. That's, that's kind of where I'm sort of at right now with this business. right? That's why I, I make a video on whatever I want. I, I, don't, I, don't have, I don't have a repercussion. I'm just doing what I want to do. Okay? Uh, the market is not defining that. So, so with that said, okay, and, and we're just going to kind of talk about the gap, right? Why I say skipping from level one to level three makes a lot of sense and skipping the freelancer thing. And I know, I know you're here to, to figure out how to be a freelancer, but if I can convince you to not become one first, that's going to save you a lot of pain. And if you still want to do it, I'll, I'll tell you what I think is the best way to do it. So, okay. So the reason why is because when you become a freelancer, okay, and this is something I didn't calculate on, I went from one boss to many bosses. Now, you become location independent, but you don't become time independent, right? What's the difference here? That means you don't have to go into an office to work most of the time, but your time is still not your own, right? You have clients and they have deadlines and you got to do work, right? You're a freelancer so you own your own business. That's great. That's awesome. It feels good. But you're still at the mercy of bosses and it's more than one boss. It's multiple bosses because when they need this work done, you, you got to do it, right? You can't be like, well, I, I guess I'm not going to work for, for two weeks. No, you're going to lose your clients, okay? And, and you've, you've got to keep the business running. Plus, you've got to do the overhead of the business. And overhead is not fun. It's not writing code. It's not, you know, it, I mean, maybe accountants think that's fun, but, you know, it costs money and it costs time to do that. So instead, what I always suggest, at least now, is to go straight to level three. This is where, you know, when I was a freelancer, I realized, oh, wait, you know, it'd be so much better to have a product that I sell, right? To have an actual business that generates passive income so that I can be both location independent and time independent, right? So I became location and time independent. Now, I'm not saying this to, to convince you I'm a baller. I, I don't care if you think I'm a baller or not. My, my point is this, is that like, that is the real, that's a much higher level of freedom. Now, you still have some restrictions in that, right? As that you you have to create something that people want, right? The market is your, your boss, essentially, but it gives you a lot more freedom. And, and for, so most developers, they're looking for freedom, right? And so when you become a freelancer, you find that you're actually burdened more. And sometimes you don't even make more money. I mean, you definitely have a higher potential of earning uh, being a freelancer versus a career developer. And you have, but you have an even higher potential if you own a business, right? It, it's infinitely scalable. You can make a, a lot of money without doing anything after you've put in the work. Okay, so now, We'll, we'll get down to it. I'll, I'll give you some simple steps. If I, I still haven't convinced you not to be a freelancer, okay, that's fine. So how do you, if you're going to be a freelancer, how do you do it? Okay, this is, I'll give you the hard way and I'll give you the easy way. The hard way is this, is to go knock on doors and make phone calls and send out emails and LinkedIn requests and jump on Upwork and try and, and get business that way, 
okay? That's the hard way because it's called, it's called a cold approach or cold sale, right? You, you've, you don't have an introduction. You don't have, there's no reason, you're just asking people, you're asking people for stuff, right? You say, can I please, please sir, can I have a job? Can I work for you? Can, I, can you pay me money to, can I write some code for you? You're not gonna command a high premium. You're gonna spend a lot of time going out and knocking and busting doors, right? I, until you finally get, and it'll work, it'll work, right? If you're willing to put in the work, but that's not the best way. Instead, the best way is if you're gonna do this, if you're really serious about this, okay? And I've got a course that will help you out on this. It's called How to Market Yourself as a Software Developer. Go ahead and click the link and then open it in another window and you can check it out later. But, but listen, don't, don't check it out now, listen to me, okay? What you wanna do is you wanna build a personal brand. Okay, you want to market yourself, right? That's why I made the course on how to market yourself as a software developer. But even if you don't get the course, just get this, right? What I'm telling you right now is you want to figure out a way to build a brand, to build an audience, okay? To build authority in the industry, in a, sli a slice of the industry. You want to specialize, of course, okay? Once I started my blog on Simple Programmer and I had 10,000 people visiting that blog a month, now I have 250, 300,000 people visit the blog per month, okay? But when even I just had 10,000, I was getting job offers, right? I was getting people to say, well, can you write this code for me? I'll hire you, right? And they're, and, and it's basically name your price. They're like, how much does it cost you, right? Uh, how much will you charge me, essentially, in order to do this? And so, not only are you not knocking on doors, people are coming to you, and how much better of a negotiation po position do you think you're in when someone comes to you and says, I want you to write this code, okay? That's how you built $300 an hour. It wasn't gonna happen. I wasn't gonna knock on the door and say, hey, I wanna write some code from you. You never heard of me. It's all right, I'm a really good developer. Check out my resume. Uh, how much do you charge? I charge $300 an hour. Ha <laughs> goodbye, right? That's what would happen. But if someone comes to me and I say, no, I, that's, I have a lot of business. Uh, you know, I'm, I, I have a reputation in the industry. You came to me, 300, that's my rate. I don't negotiate my rate. They say, Sure, I want the best, right? You see what I'm saying? Or I want you. So that's what you gotta do. If you really be, wanna become a freelancer, you're really serious about this, you start now by planting the roots, by planting the seeds now, which means that you build your brand, you build your business, you build an audience, start with a blog, maybe a YouTube channel, right? I've got a free course if you don't wanna pay you know, whatever for how to market yourself as a software developer. It's cool, I understand. <clears throat> Chief Gate. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but no, go, go check out how to uh, create a blog to boost your career. And that will at least get you started creating a blog. And that, you know, it's gonna take some time. It's gonna take some work. <clears throat> but if you plant these seeds, you're gonna save yourself a lot of time in the long run. So anyway, all right. So, so that's it. That's all I got for you today. Uh, if you like this video, by the way, I've got plenty more of them. Uh, I do two to three days. So what you want to do is you want to make sure you click down here, the, the subscribe. You want to click the bell, though, so that you don't miss any of the videos I do. Uh, pretty much two to three a day. I'll talk to you next time. Take care.